So our next speaker today, our next guest is from X1 FBO, Caroline Corrales, VP of Customer Success. Um, X1 is a very big strategic partner for Paragon Network. We've had a lot of FBOs making the switch from old systems that just don't do as good a job of reporting. Uh, X1 implemented now in over 200 FBOs. It is a certified gateway POS for all fuel providers and all major credit cards. So it answers that problem. X1 empowers management teams by providing robust data, accounting and sales reports, and even connects to existing FBO tools like FlightBridge and AirNav systems. Caroline is an FBO veteran with a management background at some of the busiest FBOs in Miami, including Landmark, which became Signature, and Fountain Blue and Opalaka, which is also one of our FBOs in the network. Uh, Caroline's leadership, patience, and understanding of the business attributes to much of the success of X1 and its clients. And I will say, as a GM that has managed many CS teams over the years, you really it does help to have an FBO program that understands that front desk. So um, if you will just uh, help me welcome our next. Thank you, Julie. Thanks for the introduction. Can everybody hear me OK? Yes. OK, perfect. I'll go ahead and share my screen now. All right. And as Julie mentioned, uh, we are a certified gateway processor through all the major fuel suppliers. Um, what we're going to cover today is really just a high level view. We have so many products that provide a solution for so many different parts of FBO businesses. We have airports uh, scaling from very small operation, refueler operations, all the way up to heavy airline um, cargoes, very high volume. So we've come across a lot of different types of FBOs and different types of challenges. And we're pretty confident in being able to provide um, several products to be able to answer that. One of the first products I'm gonna start with, which you'll see on the screen, is actually one that 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 is new that we developed over the last uh, two years. And it's for those FBOs that have a lot of orders and requests that come from say a flight school or an airline, somewhere that an aircraft is not landing into their airport, but they have to go do remote services somewhere else on the on the field. So what you're looking at right now, it's called our X1 portal. It's our X1 customer portal. Essentially what you would do as an FBO is you would create a username and a password, hand this over to your local flight school, your local cargo, your airlines, and then they'll come in here and they'll go ahead and put in their own fuel orders. They can come in here and be specific about the type of fuel order that they need when they need it. They can check their fuelings and all of the orders, the statuses. So, you know, a lot of FBOs have to deal with calls at the front desk. Hey, when you guys come in, um, or I, I have all these fuelings that took place yesterday. Um, can you guys hurry up and invoice them so I can put them in my book? So this customer portal will allow those flight schools and airlines to be able to see all the fuelings that they have requested with you. And not only that, as they put in these fuelings, it will appear directly on the service screen for the, the FBO and the CSRs. So those emails, those calls, hey, I need you to come fuel this flight school. I need you to come to the airlines. Essentially, they can do it directly themselves through here. You could also do a bulk pay feature, which will allow you to select more than one invoice and go ahead and pay several invoices at once. They can do that directly from their customer portal. Now, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go over to the request list. This is the screen where all the CSRs live inside of X1, and this is how they go about entering the trips that are coming into their FBO. Uh, one of the cool things about us is that we have, you know, our our FBO software really does encompass everything that you would see and need to do at an FBO. So we are, our, our main entities are the scheduling piece, the invoicing piece, 
and the field management piece. We're very big on field management. Having that data all in the same place, having the same customer records when you're building requests and trips, having those same customer records be tied to the price rules and the automatic pricing that you have when you're creating invoices. And then in turn, having that information all be part of the same data and the same database so that you can pull reports and smart sheets and Power BI. All of that is very important because then you can combine your sales transaction, your tracking transactions, um, your arrival uh, information, and you can start to use those data points and those KPIs um, in any way that you would like. Uh, what you're looking at right now is a screen where the CSRs would go ahead and either put in a trip, either they would put in a trip, or the trips can come in directly through outside sources. For example, through our FlightBridge integration, you'll see here these trips came directly through a FlightBridge feed that we have versus these here that are showing in different colors may have come from the customer portal or they may have come from X1 single point. Um, we try and keep everything very simple, a very simple color, color scheme. So all you'll see is four colors. Yellow is to indicate a service is pending. Green is to indicate a service needs to be completed. And red is to indicate a service has been canceled. You're going to have one more color, which is blue, just to indicate that a service is in the progress of being completed. And that'll be for services that take a little bit of time. For instance, fuel takes some time. You'll also notice these little tracking uh, icons. We do have our own tracking software. It's called X1 Tracks. Um, you can get X1 Tracks independently without even needing X1 FBO. Um, we, we do offer it as its, as its own uh, tracking software. The cool thing about having Tracks and X1 FBO together is obviously that they link together. So if you have a dispatch station or if you have someone that's just looking at the tracking, or let's say you're at an airport that has, a, you have competitors, right? Not everything landing at that airport is going to go to your FBO, but um, some of them might come to yours. So for example, here we have, all of these aircraft coming into this FBO that we have KAPF. Um, but I can tell immediately which ones are coming to me because I have that X1 logo. And if I click on that X1 logo, I can see more information about the statuses of the services and vice versa. If I'm on the request list, I can see which of these requests have a tracking uh, picked up from the tracker. Um, if they're in route, and it'll go ahead and automatically mark their arrival times, their departure times. So we're going to take a look at this request right here, which is our request for November 123 Alpha Bravo. We have a fuel icon, a rental car icon, and a lavatory icon. And we're going to see what it looks like now when the line service crew opens this information up on their side. So allow me just one moment. I'm going to reshare my screen. All right, let me know when you guys can see, it uh, should be a dark screen with like a portrait view. You guys can see that? All right, perfect. So this is Excellent Single Point. Excellent Single Point is uh, what I believe to be is one of our biggest success. Um, the whole idea behind Excellent Single Point is to be able to get the scheduling into the hands of the line service technicians who are the ones outside needing to complete a lot of these services. We have this trip that we saw here, November 123 Alpha Bravo. I can go ahead and click on it. I'm a line service technician. So I'm walking around on the ramp. I've been trying to call the CSR, the dispatcher. They haven't been able to get back to me because they're inside doing their job. Um, so I can see all the information for this trip without having to wait on someone else to call me, without having to look at a printed schedule that was outdated from eight in the morning, without having to run back into the line, the line room and see see what the the schedule board is. Um, you know, our whole our whole goal behind. FBOs and customer services to provide a service um, that would set us apart from the competitors at the airport. So uh, as you guys know, fuel is a lot more commoditized these days. And really what's standing us apart is our service be between us and our competitors on the field. So using our, our readback feature, you have an example of a busy day where a line service just had to run up and marshal on an airplane and um, you know, that airplane opens the door. They may have given us that information three or four times, either through email, through text. If we're lucky, they give it to us over the air rink. Um, but what happens is that they're giving that information to the people at the desk. And so when that plane lands and your line service technician who had to hurry up and marshal them um, goes to greet them at the door, that door opens, that pilot walks out. The first thing your line service asks them is, hey, what can we get you? They've already told us three or four times, right? And it's not the line service's fault that they didn't have the information right in front of them. 
your company had it, you guys were ready. It's just that in the moment in which the interaction happened, that first impression, the greeting of your FBO, they didn't have it right in front of them. And that's what single point is changing. Being able to use this callback feature and be able to say, hey, Cap, I see you have some fuel, you, you, you're needing 500 gallons, I have a private vehicle for you and I have a laboratory service. You'll be able to see the pilot relax and be able to now complete their services. Anything that you're doing outside on the ramp, you're going to be able to complete it right here. So not having to wait to call the CSR to let them know, hey, we completed this fuel um, or hey, we completed this lab. Or you know what? They're going to go ahead and cancel laboratory service. We, we actually don't want it anymore. They can do that all right from here. And this is going to allow your FBO to operate in a real time status. Um, you know, a lot of times we go to FBOs and we ask them, hey, how much fuel have you sold today? And it's never an easy answer. They a lot of the, a lot of the questions we get, especially for those FBOs that are not using X1, is oh hold on, I'm waiting for these fuel tickets to be brought in, or I'm waiting for such and such to finish so that they can call me the correct meters. You won't have to deal with any of that with with X1 single point. The biggest reason uh, a lot of people use X1 single point in addition to the schedule is this piece right here. So for those of you who are familiar with FBOs and working in FBO and doing fuel management. Imagine being able to see all your tanks and trucks in one view with your real time levels. Here I have a jet truck with all the pending fuelings that I need to complete. Any movement of fuel that I'm doing outside on my trucks or my or my fuel farm, I'm going to record them inside of, of, of single point. If these FBOs have electronic meters with uh, TCS, we can actually connect directly to the TCS electronic meter and we can send information and read information back. Um, so this feeling, for example, when we go to complete it, if that truck is connected with a TCF meter, all the information will be sent automatically to the preset. All the fuelers will have to do is go over to the register, hit start, pump the fuel, hit stop. That's going to complete the fueling inside of X1 with all the details about the fueling and that's it the fuel is created. If you don't have electronic meters, that's okay too. You could just enter in the, the quantity manually. So that is excellent single point. A lot of other cool features it can do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you back now um, to our scheduling piece so that you can see how it goes into an invoice now. Monica, I didn't set my timer. So if you wanna let me know how I'm doing on time, by all means. <laughs> Three minutes. <laughs> Three minutes. Okay, perfect. All right. So back in here, we have ah, here we have that invoice uh, that um that request that we just completed. All I have to do now is click one button. All those services will automatically feed into my invoicing, where I can directly either pay with Av Fuel, World Fuel, Titan, MSA, Jetix. I can pay it all through here, and I'm going to get a confirmation through here. Um, there's a lot of uh, products and add-ons that we offer for FBOs if it makes sense to them, but these are really our core products. Um, another thing I just wanted to point out real quick is uh, all the work that we've done on accounting integrations. We have, again, as uh, Julie mentioned, we have FBOs, range, uh, two, over 200 FBOs with all types of different accounting platforms and different systems, and we've had to create uh, specific uh, integrations and exports to be able to feed these transactions into these accounting systems. So this is what's called our accounting hub. This is where all your transactions will go to live until you're ready to either move it into your accounting system or generate an export, or we can have it set up automatically where you don't even need to have it sitting here. It'll just pick up, um, I think every 30 minutes or so, and it'll feed it directly into your accounting system. But we can break down the entire chart of accounts, any kind of exceptions that you have, we would do all that for you here. And before, before I, I leave off, uh, we have a lot of reporting um, details. I think I mentioned how we can connect and use our, our data layer to uh, things such as uh, Power BI or types of smart sheets. Um, one of the things I'd like to end off on is our customer service and our onboarding team. I personally am biased. I think we have one of the best support teams out of any software. <laughs> um, you know, we have a lot of good, we have a lot of good partners like Flightbridge. I remember when I used Flightbridge, they were great about getting uh, service and responding back to them and knowing them on a personal level and knowing their first names. That's definitely what we wanted to emulate when we started X1. Um, and so being able to provide a chat feature where you can message us 24 hours a day or give us a call 
Um, I think that's very helpful, as well as our onboarding team. One of the things that Monica says is that, you know, if someone were to tell her, hey, you have to change your entire CRM tomorrow, um, she would upright just say, no, there's no way I'm not doing it. But if she knew that she had help and a team to help her, like an onboarding team that's dedicated to help her during the transition, then it's a little bit different. Then you'll be more willing to look at being able to change your software because changing software is a, it is a big uh, task to ask of, um, of an entire business. That's not just one department that has to see the entire operations, not just accounting, uh, scheduling. So um, that's, that's pretty much it. That's our, that's our, our high, our high level demo. I tried to do it in 12 minutes. This is my first time trying to, um, compound it. So <laughs> let me know if I missed anything, Monica. That was awesome. That was great. And I'm sure we are going to have some questions probably. Um, like you said, changing FBO software programs is a big endeavor for any FBO. So um, if you guys have questions, hold them and I am sure they will be happy to answer those um, at the end of the call. And uh, they also, X1 does offer some benefits to Paragon preferred FBOs as well. So we can explore those if anyone has questions about that at the end of the call.